Well, we have another fun filler event. If you don't want to do this, there's no real penalty for not participating, but I think these targets are actually quite interesting to approach. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. This is the Greater Evils TLC, the Mastery Round. The first four solo encounters have a fun storyline to them, but they're really, really easy. This target, on the other hand, is real tricky. There's a lot of stuff going on here, and it's all about pattern recognition. By the way, I did watch a video that my third favorite moderator made, but I didn't have any narration, so I did want to go through and try and hit some of this, and just show you what I'm walking through. Now, one important thing to realize is you have to stay at max range of this boat here pretty much all the time, because it does have a short range weapon if you get too close. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it will do a little bit. The other thing is that there are drones that come out of here. The first level is actually pretty easy, the second one's one of the hardest. So just be aware the drones are circling around, they do damage if you go inside the golden ring. Now, that's two elements there, short range weapon as well as the drones. The other one is that there are some mortar blasts like you just saw that come out. That happens roughly every 43-44 seconds, so keep an eye on the clock there. The first one was 14-15, the next one should be about 13-30 in there, and you have to run away once you see that large black ring pop up. So far, not so bad. I will get a lot harder though when there are a lot more drones in the target, but just try and stay at roughly max range, look for what the patterns of the drones are doing. I'm trying to stay uh, zoomed in right about now because it's a little bit easier. And there we go, just above 1430, more mortars erupt, you have to run away here, otherwise you'll take some pretty nasty damage. And again, do try and keep moving. So far, it looks to me like I've taken no damage from this, which is fantastic. Now, as I'm heading back in here, I'm going to be cautious a little bit and wait for these drones to circle around because they do all follow some sort of pattern. So you can see there's one drone, two drone, three drone moving around in a large circle, and then other ones are orbiting around those. So you have to kind of try and figure out what's going on here and how you can possibly hit this target for lower damage, not going into any of those drone rings. It's a little tricky because sometimes they do try and do the worst possible thing. And then again, that ring does pop up again and you have to run away here or you'll get hurt by mortars. So far, hasn't been too bad. Maybe took a tiny bit of damage on one of those. It really is run in, run out, try and detect the pattern. I personally think that this second drone run is the hardest for me. It does seem to be the trickiest. If you can manage to spin around in a circle a little bit, that's great too, because you can use all eight of your Octo Weapons on the side here, and it does get uh, sort of tricky because you think drones are going to get you, and sometimes they do. There's a little bit of damage on that one, maybe still instant map repair, hopefully instant base repair still at the very end. I have only done one of these targets before uh, making this video, which was a 28 minute damage one, so that shouldn't be too bad. Like I said, these drones here are the hardest for me to um, come up with a good strategy for, because I, I just don't quite get this pattern. But as soon as that mortar pops up, run away, and then run right, right back in here. Trying to move around the outside here, so don't get too much damage by any of these guys. Again, it's just going around the outside. And these things are actually pretty predictable, although again, it is a little hard here to run in front of them. I would rather approach from behind them. The other drone patterns make more sense to me. All right. Just waiting right about here, and I should just be able to stop right here, stay about max range just in case something gets a little closer, and again, the mortars do pop up here, and they try and chase you around a little bit. So I got hit by one right there, which is whatever. Now, this target does pay out 20,000 points, which is not the greatest, but it's not the worst, and it is a little bit of a time-consuming for target, but like I said, this is a fun event. You will need to hit 12 of these targets if you want this skin right here for your own Harbingers, so just keep that in mind. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't make them as tough as this, but it does help out a little bit. Alright, we have another drone wave incoming, so I'm going to peel out here and see what I can possibly do. I think that it makes more sense to look at the pattern and watch it here. You're just under half health. More mortars are coming out. Now, I do have a Sea Serpent's crew on here. I think that the Silent Hunter's one that gives you combat speed might be more helpful. Steelhead is not too helpful unless you're already taking a lot of damage. I think that um, you should be able to do this for no damage, so you should use crews that help increase your ability to do it for no damage rather than decreasing the damage you do get, if that makes sense at all. All right, you saw how I snuck in on this wave here. Try and stay right behind this one. You can always stop, but you can't speed up more than your ship goes, if that makes sense at all. So try and just stay pretty slow there and continue to shoot at this guy. I should mention that if you do retreat, you will lose everything. So keep that in mind. 
Mortar shows up here, and the target's actually almost done. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and circle back in here now that these mortars are gone. Again, try to approach it just behind this last drone. Turn around even before it gets there if you at all can. So you have miles and miles of space in front of the second guy here. And get out of its way as quickly as you can. Now, this ship, when I get about down to 5 or 10% health, will take off across the map really, really quickly. I guess that's so you don't feel like you beat Fasago and you still have to come back for the other encounters as you need. Alright, let's get out of the way here because there's a ton more drones right here and more mortars coming out. This, these levels will get more familiar as you do more and more of these. I could go ahead and hit like 20 of these, but this is literally the second time I've done this target, so it should be a little bit easier than everything else. And let's try and duck in here quickly and get the last little bits of help off this guy right here. You can try and wait a little bit while longer to look at the pattern here if you want to. I'm just going to go through. I could also just wait and record a literally zero damage video. But I'm not going to do that because that feels a little bit disingenuous. I'd rather post something that's fairly realistic. Also, I am running a full X1 Harbinger fleet. Unfortunately, I can't scrap my fleet and rebuild it at U0. Um, just keep that in mind. At this point, you don't have to stay engaging the ship. It runs away, and you should be all good. I did take some damage from a, shoot, from a few uh, short-range weapons at the very start there of that run, but that doesn't really matter too much. Overall, pretty solid target. Let's go ahead and check the damage, battle report, and build, and see what we got. Some concussive, some explosive damage, whatever, and I did concussive and explosive. I got one skin out of 12. You need 12 for the total target. Here's the build that I'm running, if you're curious. It is the same across all five ships, and they are all up to X1, as I did mention. That was price pack 2, pays out 20,000 points, which is, hey, not bad. You get a few chests, and total repair time was 32 minutes. So, not fantastic, but you should be able to take these techniques and try and approach this yourself with a little bit lower damage if you do get through this. And who knows, maybe if I do another 20 runs, I'll get one for zero damage. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you to everyone whose names appears on screen now. And as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.